Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to discuss whether GM is wrong for doing this to their Z06 customers. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I want to discuss this whole Z06 and GM flipper, uh, you know, thing that's going on right now and the notice that they've put out to all of their dealerships and their buyers. But before we get into it real quick, if you're interested in the content that I'm about to go over with you, please smash that thumbs up button. I already know my thumbs up squat has done so and thank you for doing so. Also, if you don't wanna miss a single one of these types of videos, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I hope you guys enjoy the scenery here. I am in uh, Sandestin, Florida, and we've got some amazing scenery. And I'm about to show you some of this cool stuff that I'm walking around right now. All right, so most of you on the channel right now probably already know what GM has put out there for the Z06 consumer. And it is a notification and a piece of paperwork that they are gonna make each and every one of us sign if we buy a Z06. Now, if you haven't heard of this, just go to the midagencorvetteforum.com. I will put links below to the articles and you will be able to pull up exactly what I'm talking about and read it for yourself. But basically what they're saying is, is they are trying to get rid of the everyday consumer walking into a GM, or I'm sorry, a Chevy dealership, buying a Z06 Corvette, turning right around and flipping it for a profit. Now, as the title stated, is this wrong? Well, I think it's deeper than that. Whether it's right or wrong, there's multiple facets to this, and I think I'd like to you know, discuss that. But first, let me explain exactly what it is that they're doing. So basically, they're having you sign something when you buy the Z06, that says for one whole year, you will hold on to the Z06 and not sell it. And if you do sell it, then you will have to either inform or not inform, but obviously the right thing to do would be to inform the buyer that you no longer have a warranty of any kind not a bumper to bumper or a powertrain warranty. They are both void the minute that you sell it before 12 months is up. So it's trying to curtail flippers. This was all found on the Mid-Engine Corvette forum and I will link everything down in the description below. That way you guys can go there and read all this yourself. Thank you so much to the Mid-Engine Corvette forum for, for being very quick to provide all of this information to us. Um, it is, whether you agree with it or disagree, it's out there, you're able to get on, read it, and get very clear understanding of what is gonna happen with this new paperwork that GM is having all of us who are buying the Z06 sign. So, 
I wanted to let you know what it is that they're doing. Then I want to tell you my take on it. And the number one thing that I feel like potentially is going to happen is we're going to have a lot of hurt buyers from flippers. So normally when someone flips a car, you know, especially when it's brand spanking new, there are no consequences except for the fact that that person has to pay quite a bit over MSRP for that car. Other than that, they have the full warranty, the car is in perfect condition. There's never usually any pain felt from any of the other circumstances that could be happening other than, like I said, paying over MSRP. But now these flippers, most of them or a lot of them probably aren't going to care. They are going to probably flip these cars and a lot of these people that buy them are not going to know about videos like this. They're not going to know about the forums. They're not going to know about what GM has done to try and stop the flippers. And they're going to get these brand new Z06s and all of a sudden they're going to have an issue with their Z06. It's probably not going to be for a long time, but let's just say they have an issue. They have it. They have to take it to the dealership and immediately the dealership informs them guess what you bought a z06 that was flipped and the person's going to say yeah i knew that i paid you know x amount well here's the paperwork that shows that if you bought this you have zero warranty and that's a big problem whether you agree or disagree with this whole situation you have to agree that the person that's really the biggest loser here is the uninformed buyer who buys the Z06 from the flipper. So I have a couple more points that I wanna make about this. I haven't made my mind up exactly how I feel about this, but I do know that I don't agree with this part. And I think it's really, really bad that this is happening. Now, real quick, I'm gonna show you, this is one of my favorite places to come in Sandestin. It is so cool to be able to see all of the huge yachts behind me. And you got people fishing back here behind me, as you can see. And it's just so beautiful out here. And then right behind me, you've got Baytown Wharf, which is right back there. There's tons of stuff to do, tons of restaurants to go to. It's really, really fun. If you ever want a really cool Florida vacation, come to Sandestin. It's so awesome. And by the way, they're not paying me to say that. This is not a plug for them. So number two, I feel, and, and again, I could be wrong, but my initial feeling about this was that it, now it is green lighting dealerships to go ahead and charge much more over MSRP than they had planned to because it gets rid of the secondary market. It totally gets rid of anybody being able to really flip their Z06 um, successfully without having issues from the buyer standpoint. And I believe that it will make dealerships who did not initially think they were going to charge over MSRP or plan to charge over MSRP, go ahead and do so. And again, I think that is a real problem. I don't agree with it. I know that we are a free market. I know it's a free enterprise and I know this is exactly how things are supposed to work. But I also know that dealerships are supposed to take care of the customer and by them being extremely greedy in this circumstance, extremely greedy in this circumstance because of one car they're exploiting one car uh the the new c8 the new c8 z06 i just feel like gm just gave them a bold green light to move forward with charging way over msrp for their cars the third thing is that to me this is proving to all the consumers out there that gm really doesn't care about us they act like they care about us but really when it comes down to it, they're gonna stick up for the dealership. They're gonna stick up for themselves. They're not gonna have our backs. And that doesn't really surprise me, ladies and gentlemen, it really doesn't. I mean, big corporations out there 
are always going to look out for their best interest and that's all there is to it and so i feel like it's just proving to all of us that the big guys don't care about the little guys and again this is a real problem because really what i believe should have been done is something to both us the consumer and the dealership i believe that they should have stuck with their guns obviously they're having some legal issues with what they came out with in january stating that they were going to penalize dealerships who sold for over msrp give them less allocations and give their allocations to dealers who are not selling over msrp because that way they are rewarded and the guys that are doing the over msrp are not but they've backtracked on that apparently i haven't heard anything about it since then i haven't heard of dealerships complaining about that obviously they're not because we know there's plenty of dealerships out there who are charging well over a hundred thousand over msrp for the new z06 so let me know what you guys think about that if you agree with me disagree that's okay if you somewhat agree leave it all down in the comments below the last thing that i wanted to go over is the fact that maybe just maybe this isn't really legal and that we're going to have a team of lawyers or maybe you know one or two lawyers in fact if you're a lawyer and you know this type of law and you're on this video right now leave a comment down below after reading the paperwork if you think it's legal or not because i don't believe that it is i believe that um, there's going to be something that comes up probably here in the near future that states GM can't do this. They can't get away with this. Um, there's actually verbiage on the Mid Engine Corvette forum from someone who seems like they know a lot about, you know, legality things. They aren't lawyers. I think they profess to not be lawyers, but they state that there is definitely something off about this because of the fact that normally when you buy a car there is a consideration between the buyer and the seller in this case there's no consideration you're just paying money for a car but then there's nothing that comes along with that car the the warranty is usually the consideration they believe that this is going to fall through this is not really truly going to happen so again leave that in the comments down below letting me know if you agree with this person, you can read through the comments on this article and see what you think. I think it's on the second page of comments, but I truly agree with this person. I think that this is gonna fall through and that GM is gonna figure out pretty quickly from lawyers uh, that fight this and say, no, this cannot happen. This is illegal. You guys have to change this to something else and make it legal. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I wanted to go over with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Share this video for me. I'd hugely appreciate it. And again, leave me comments down below letting me know what your opinion is. I haven't made my mind up fully. Uh, I'm trying to do more reading and research on this and just figure out exactly what's going on, how I feel about it. Um, but so far my gut tells me that this just isn't right something smells fishy about it <laughs> and look i'm i'm right here with the fish you can see them right there in the water ladies and gentlemen i hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road